Hello everyone, welcome to Cinema Snacks, the show where we talk about what to eat at the movies. I'm your host, Caramel Thunder. Boy, I picked a really bad time to start up this YouTube channel. Man, as uh, many of you are aware, the coronavirus is spreading wa- rapidly throughout the world, throughout America, and as a result of that, movie theaters are closed. So, the show where we talk about what to eat at the movies is a little bit, uh, can't, can't really do it. So, instead, I'm going to be repurposing the show just a little bit, just while we're in this little, uh, this little self-quarantine, this self-isolation phase of our lives. Uh, we're going to, we're going to go and talk about how to, how to make a nice night at home feel like a nice night at the movies. Uh, we did a little bit of this last week. I ran down some snack choices. Uh, today I think I'll do a more straightforward video where I talk about things we can do to get ourselves in the mood to make, uh, watching a movie at home feel like a night out going to the movies. So, uh, without further ado, let's rock and roll. First up, what you're going to need is like some good movie theater kind of snacks. So, what I got for us tonight, as I've said before, Orville Redenbacher, the movie theater butter. That is a great brand that you can get. It tastes just as close to the real thing as you possibly can uh, well, while being microwave popcorn. So we're just going to put this in the microwave. Now, I'm not sure how many people know this, but you can actually press a popcorn button on your microwave. So I'm going to press that. It's got 3.5 ounces, and it'll just pop itself. There we go. Popcorn's all set up for candy tonight. I have a Reese's Fast Break King Size Bar. These are particularly delicious. Um, there's some nice... What, now what this is, is a peanut butter filling with a little bit of nougat and chocolate, and it's in a bar form. So it's almost like if a Milky Way, instead of having caramel, it had, it had peanut butter. Pretty tasty stuff. I also have these Trolley Sour Bright Crawlers. These are sally, sour gummy worms. They're pretty delicious. I myself, I'm a fan of the sour things. I like how it tastes. Uh, and I think, you know, we got a nice variety of different fruity flavors in here. For a beverage, what I have is a Sprite Ginger. Uh, I've, I've had these once before. Uh, they're pretty delicious. It's an interesting flavor. What you got going on here is it's Sprite with a little bit of ginger. It's not ginger ale. It's just got ginger flavor. So if you're looking for it's for something with a little bit of a that's a little bit more on the lemon lime side of sodas, a little bit more of that see-through clear sodas, I think it's a good choice for you to pick. Uh, if you couldn't pick between ginger ale or Sprite, I think that's a great option for you. So get Sprite ginger ale or get Sprite ginger. Looks like our popcorn's almost done here, and as as I've said in our last episode, it is important to have a good movie theater bowl, which I will get a nice movie theater bowl. Last week, there, there you go, our popcorn is complete. It is all popped. I have a Star Wars Rise of Skywalker movie theater tin. Pretty nice, I like these movie theater tins that they give out. And so what this does, now you could, you could just eat this out of the bag, right? But remember, we wanna make this feel like we're going to the movies, it's a special night. So you gotta put it, you gotta put it in the bowl. Cause you eat popcorn in a big, big bowl when you go out. Now, same thing with your beverage. What you want with the beverage is you want a nice big old glass. Fill it with ice or don't fill it with ice, but you want a big glass that you can drink out of to make it feel like you're going through the movies. My favorite one it's returning. This made an appearance last week is this Justice League League cup. Great cup, 
terrible movie, hashtag release the Snyder Cut. So, what I like about this is it comes with a straw. Not all these movie theater cups come with a straw. Uh, I believe I also have a Star Wars Rise of Skywalker one that comes with a straw. I believe I have an It Chapter 2 cup that comes with a straw. My point being, I think straws are important when you're filling your, uh, your cup up with whatever beverage. So you want ice and you want a straw. So let me get some ice for us. Dropping some ice here on accident. No worries, it's not going in the cup. It's going in the cup. And what you want to do now, you just want to crack your soda open. And go ahead and pour it in there. You see a lot of bubbles building up here. And that ice cube is going to really bring out some of that carbonation. I don't know if that's scientifically accurate, but I find that to be true usually. So I'll just pop on, pop on the lid, and there we go. We got our candy, popcorn, soda. Snack-wise, we are ready to go, but we're still not ready to watch our movie. So let's let's uh, move on to the next step. So this next step is a little bit of two things. So first up you gotta turn off all the lights in your house, or at least the area in which you're watching a movie, right? What this does is it mimics that uh, setting, your visual setting, because when you, when you go to the movies, right, you're not sitting in a bright room, that's what happened during the commercials. When the movie starts, the lights go low, maybe there's a little bit of mood lighting, so what you can do is get some, get some nice Christmas lights and string them up, them up against your walls, Maybe that might set the mood a little bit, but turn as many lights as you can off in the house. You want it pitch dark when you're watching that movie. That's a huge part of the cinema experience. Uh, it's, it's very similar to going into, uh, think of Plato's allegory of the cave, right? You get, he, the dude's in there, he's chained up to the wall, he's watching the shadows dance on the wall, right? That's what going to the movie theater's like, is it's like the allegory of the cave, because you're sitting in there and you're dreaming together with everybody else. You're experiencing this movie. So you gotta have all the lights off. And that, that thing on the wall, the, the TV, the projector, whatever you're doing to watch your movie, you gotta have all your attention focused on this. And because of that, cell phone away. You gotta throw, I mean, don't throw it away, right? But what you gotta do, turn it off, or you gotta put it in another room. Because when you go to the movie theaters, you don't suddenly get bzz, bzz, open your phone, start texting during a movie, right? I mean, if you do, you're just a big jerk. But most people, 90% of people, and what you should do when you go to the movies is phones off and away. That's what you got to do for this. Now, I know that's a hard step. I struggle with that myself. One thing, I'm watching Lord of the Rings. Next thing, you know, I'm texting my buddies about, you know, what food we're going to get. But you don't want that. If you're going to replicate the movie theater experience, you got to have your phone off and away. Respect the movie makers and give them your full attention. And that's going to be ultimately beneficial to you the movie going audience, or I guess the movie watching audience, as you experience your movie. All right, the final thing that you need to make your night in feel like a night going out to the movies, it's the most important thing, that's the movie. What are you gonna watch? Well, everybody has different movie watching habits. Personally, myself, on a night like this to make it feel like a big important thing, I'd probably wanted to put in a movie that um, either I haven't seen before, or movie that I love. That makes it all the more special. Because if it's a movie you haven't seen before, it really does feel like a night going out to the movies. Because unless you're in like a big city where they have cool theaters like Portland, Oregon, where they show old movies all the time, right? Usually when you go to the theater, you're going to you're gonna go see a new movie that you haven't seen before. Unless you, you're seeing like Birds of Prey for the third time, which I did because that movie was awesome. Uh, but anyways... Pick a movie you either haven't seen before that's up on your watch list. It's going to make the night feel special. You're always going to remember that movie with the night that you stayed in and had a nice kind of try to mimic the movie theater experience. You'll associate it with the coronavirus all the time. Uh, that sounds bad now that I say it, but you know what I mean. You're going to remember 
uh, try and you're going to remember that you're going to associate that movie with a time when you couldn't go out to the theater to escape. So you stayed inside to try to, you know, forget about the world and its problems and just enjoy a good movie. That's what I mean. Or the other option, pick a movie that you've seen before that you absolutely love. A uh, movie that, you know, you can watch a billion times, a thousand times, or a movie that you just you just love so much, but you've only you've only seen it a few times, even though you love it so much, just to preserve how special it is. For me tonight, I'm picking the second one. I'm, we're picking John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness. Um, it's a movie I've seen once before. I love it. It's a great movie if no one's seen it. I have it pulled up on the Shutter at Movie app uh, right now. We're going to watch it. And uh, that's my choice, but you can pick whatever you want. Um, there's lots of stuff on Netflix, lots of stuff on Hulu. If you have DVDs or Blu-rays or, or even a VHS tape, uh, watch one of those. Watch something that you either... Watch a movie that you love or watch a movie that you haven't seen before. And trust me, it's going to make for a better night. So just to recap, we got our got our popcorn, snacks, soda... We got the lights turned off. We got a little bit of mood lighting going on, you know, set the mood. You got your phone off and away. You got the lights turned off and you got a good movie pulled up or hopefully a good movie. Um, And now it's time to begin. So let me have my little movie night. Then I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. Well, the movie's over. The snacks have been consumed. The lights are back on. And let me tell you. Having an evening where you turn the lights off, you get some snacks, uh, you ignore your phone, put on a good movie, it uh, it feels a lot more special, I think, than the way we watch movies these days. A lot of times, I think, we just click on Netflix randomly, we go on our phones, we're trying to do lots of things at once, but I think dedicating a, a solid two hours or two and a half or 90 minutes just to giving a movie your full attention and eating some popcorn and soda... Uh, it really does feel like a night at the movies. And so uh, I hope these tips helped you guys. I hope uh, that you find some time during this crazy time to enjoy a movie and have your own kind of night in uh, and enjoy a, enjoy a good movie. And uh, that's everything I got for you guys today. So uh, stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you next time.